Hey guys, I'm Nico Chaney here and I'm back with another Beyblade vs. Chozatsu unboxing! This time we have Revive Phoenix 10 Friction! Now, this thing actually got lost in the mail for a couple of weeks, which is why it's so late. But anyway, now let's look at the box. So right here we got Revive Phoenix the the Lego light launcher with the long winder and um, the parts list parts again and it here shows you that this winder is the longest and how to ho how to put the Beyblade on the launcher because of the revive armor I'm um, talking about the Chozetsu gimmick right here and um, on the top here we got his owner from the show Bye. I don't think he has the last name anyone else will open it up Inside the box, we get the long ripcord, manual, combo guide, and stickers, as well as the launcher and the Beyblade Revive Phoenix itself. Look at that combo guide itself, I want to see what I can make with this. Now, all of these have parts that I don't have, like the first one has bump and internal, I don't have that. And the second one has L and extend, I have extend, but not L. It's kind of sad, I can't really make any of these combos, and then there's... Vice Leopard, I don't even have that. And here's the Buster Excalibur advertisement. We already got Buster Excalibur, it's not really that good. Here is a sticker sheet, and now it has nine different stickers and ten if you include the driver sticker. And they don't really look that hard to apply. All right, I'll be back with everything applied on. All right, so first off, we got the driver, Friction. Now, Friction is based off of Unite, where it has plastic in the middle and, rubber, and a rubber ring on the outside. Now, the plastic in question, it's actually made out of POM, which was first seen in Jaeger Jaeger Cell's Yielding Driver. And it's a very, very smooth plastic. It's a special little plastic. It's very, very smooth. Now, as you can see here, it, when it's tilted, it's supposed to touch the rubber, but I can't really see it touching it. And especially with the Revive Phoenix on, the layer touches it first, then the driver. I don't really think it's gonna work. Now, here is my hand throw bearing, and yeah, I guess. I said uh, that it might not be uh, POM in Hasbro, but it is POM. It does feel the same as um, it does on Friction. Anyway, now we're going to check out the disc. Now here we have the disc. 10. 10 is actually the heaviest disc. It had the same weight as 0. And um, I think it has more stamina than 0 because that was the only problem with 0 that it had less stamina. So yes, 10 is probably the best core disc out right now. At least for now. Here we have the layer, the actual dual layer, you know, why didn't dual layers be dual layers, I don't know. Anyway, so here's the main core layer, I guess, I don't know what to call it, but it's, uh, this is basically Revive Phoenix, it has metal all around it, and here's the teeth, they're actually, they actually look very, very nice for a defense type. First time seeing good teeth on a defense type. And uh, here we have the Revive Armor, which is basically a frame that goes on the core of the layer right and um it's supposed to go on and this is the part that you have to burst twice to burst for my phoenix um if that makes sense like if the ring gets hit it'll come off and it has to stay in the stadium you can't take it out which is weird i don't know why they made that type of a rule but regardless my phoenix does look like a very very good cheeto evolution like really it looks like a cheeto why isn't it a cheeto Alright, now let's put the Beyblade all together now and feel how tight it is. And actually, you can actually hear this. It's actually very, very tight. Um, that is for sure. This is the tightest defense type I've seen. Now let's put the Revive Armor on. Alright, now we're gonna be putting on the Revive Armor just to see. Yeah, um, it's, I don't know if it's mine, but it's not really that tight on it. Yeah, um, alright. I'm, I'm not gonna really do any test spins with this thing right now because I don't really have the time But that is basically Revive Phoenix's unboxing This is the best layer out there right now for the Japanese Beyblade Burst metagame It is very very good. It's better than Spring and Requiem good. So yeah, if you buy this for a cheap price, go and buy it 